Hi, my name is Eric Wang, and I am the author of Things We Lost to the Water. Things We Lost to the Water is a story about a Vietnamese refugee family who flees Vietnam after the war and settled in New Orleans and the community of other Vietnamese refugees there. There, they learn how to grapple with the loss of their country, as well as trying to build a new life and their new home in Louisiana. Um, the idea for the novel really developed when I started going to New Orleans a whole lot. I was a graduate student in Louisiana at the time when I started writing this, and I found out about this Vietnamese community there that I didn't really know about before, so I got to know them and their story, and I was really inspired to write about that community there and, I guess, tell their story through one particular family story. Uh, the titles of reference to basically any loss that is sustained through like water. So when I made the night this title, I was thinking about Hurricane Katrina, of course, and hurricanes in general for Louisiana. But I was also thinking about the loss that people who left Vietnam by boat sustained, um, like the loss of the country they had, the lives that they built in Vietnam, and also the loss of lives from that great exodus by sea because many people did die um, when trying to leave Vietnam. So I think I tried to encapsulate all that history of loss in Vietnam as well as Louisiana through that title. I would say the books that inspired me, I would say are like other family um, sagas about immigrants. So I'm thinking of like Amy Tan's The Joy Luck Club that really influenced me at a young age, especially since she was like the first Asian American writer that I read. Um, other titles would be like The Salt House by Hala Alyan, which is about um, a family of, I guess, refugees who are originally from Palestine and they move about um, basically the whole Middle East. And that really talked, uh, explored the issue of like loss of history, family, homeland. Um, so that really influenced my writing of this novel. And I guess another novel that really inspired me was um, The Gangster We're All Looking For by Lee Diem Tui T. Um, it's about a family of Vietnamese refugees who come to San, Francisco, San Diego, I believe, and then they grapple with the loss of their homeland, but also like the, the trauma of losing a whole life. Um, and I felt like that was the first time I really understood what the Vietnam War meant for like Vietnamese Americans and as, as a Vietnamese American myself. I think I learned the most about, I guess, my family history. Growing up, my parents did not really talk about um, the Vietnam War or why they left. I just knew that they left. Um, so the writing of this book was pretty much about trying to uncover that um, Vietnamese diasporic history of why people left, not only why people left, but how they felt going through that leaving process and also selling in a new place that they have no idea um, anything about. They have to like, like learn about a new country. So I think the thing that I learned most is basically my family history, even though it's a fictionalized version of, through the research process, I learned a lot about um, the, the Vietnamese journey, essentially. I think I've always wanted to be a writer. I mean, like as a kid, um, I would write stories, um, just like mostly like fan fiction and stuff, um, like Buffy fan fiction. Um, but I, I kind of put that in the back of my mind. I didn't really saw, see it as a career until I went to a workshop um, after undergrad. Um, and there I, I've kind of, I guess I've learned that you can like become a writer, it could, be, it could become a, a career. Um, and from there, I just went through the process of trying to write a book. Um, I think my advice is just to keep pushing forward. I think it's writing is like an endurance game. Just gotta keep on going writing and then also 
just keep going forward, like uh, saying at work in the face of rejection. Uh, rejection is like, just super common and a very subjective feel like writing. So I think perseverance and endurance is really important for an emerging writer. Um, I started working on another novel. I'm really at the beginning stages, so I, I like to keep that quiet, but I feel like it's just more writing is ahead of me and I'm excited for what my future holds. Thanks for watching. You can buy my book, Things We Lost to the Water, at politicsandprose.com.